Everybody, baby! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! It was fun. Yes, it was. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Craven Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. And I'm excited to have a guest joining me right here. I put him up on the screen early. That's right. So you could right off the bat, bam. <laughs> it's not just kicking back with Craven Wednesday. No, it's more than that. My good friend Alex from Podcast Now. What's up, man? Thank you for having me. It's good to be back uh, for our annual every monthly uh, live stream. But no, th thanks so much, and uh, I'm I'm ready to rock. Absolutely, I think we are averaging about a once a month, uh, yeah, once a month collab <laughs> slash live stream over here. Yeah, man, I'm digging it. I have no problem with that, <laughs> not at all. Um, real quick before we get started this morning, I hope you're all having a great week. You know, here we are at Hump Day, and I know that some of you have had some rough weeks to start. Some have had some really good weeks. I just want to say that no matter what's going on, I hope that for the next hour, hour and a half uh, around there that Alex and I are here, I hope that, it, that no, it, whatever's going on, that this can be a, ta a place in time that you all can escape for a minute, kind of go to a, a different place, mentally unwind for a little bit as we talk about you know, scream, and we'll try to squeeze in a little Halloween talk as well this morning, if time allows. But yeah, I really do. I really hope that this will be a time that you can just, you know, <sighs> exhale, just take a minute, and then trust me, all the other baggage of life that we all have to carry in different things, it's going to be there. Don't worry, no one's going to come steal it. <laughs> trust me, it's going to be there. But for now, at least. Let's all try to, and I'm talking about myself too, and Alex too, all of us. Like, if, let's try to just lay all that down right now, and about you know, not think about what's going to happen this afternoon or tonight and this weekend, and let's just have a good time together. Let's enjoy each other's company and have fun. All right, that's what I hope we can accomplish this morning. And real quick, I want to say hello. I see you guys here, uh, and I, I don't know that I'll be able to get to everyone by name because. I have a guest, and you guys know our time goes so quickly. So I, you know, it just it just flies by, Alex. So I just want to say I see everyone is here. Jen, I'm glad you could make it. By the way, I see you were able to make it uh, uh, this morning. And Lisa, Lisa's complete randomness, and Jennifer Armstrong, Scott Walker, coming in from uh, from uh, Melbourne, Australia. Fantastic! So glad you're here. And Larissa's coming in. Says happy first channel birthday, Craven. Yay, thank you. Yes, that was a, a great celebration this past weekend. Um, and then Aaron is here as well. Great to see you. And Val, the general, is on duty. She is here. Love it. And Hawkins House of Horror, what's up, Justin? Good to see you popping in, my friend. Hang, I hope you can hang out, enjoy the show. All right, and uh, Lee the Nerd is here. Always, always great to see you, Lee. So, guys, really appreciate you all being here. And Horror B, I see you're here. I'm scrolling really quickly. Um, I'm not calling everyone's name. It's not, um, you know, anything personal. I just know that if I continue, we'll be here for a long, well, you know, it's going to cut into our time quite a bit. So I just want to say thank you all for being here. I do see you here, and I appreciate you taking the time out. And make yourself at home here in the chat carrie's here as well pluto's here what's up pluto all right and if you're new this morning real quickly if you are new here this morning to the chat maybe you got a notification and said you know this craven some of the scary channels live you're like who's that if this is your first time to check out what's going on relax kick back for a little bit you know kick the tires uh, if you like scream talk halloween talk horror talk in general this is a place to be with a great community that really does. We really do accept everyone here. Everyone has a voice, and uh, we put up with zero, uh, you know, negativity and 
uh, toxicity, all those words. So they mean something here. So if you're looking for a fun, safe place to hang out and talk horror, this is the place. So I'm glad you're here, and I hope that you will stick around. Don't go anywhere. Okay. And Jason Dyer says, I'm checking in. Good deal. Thank you, Jason. Now, Alex, here we are, my friend. It was, Hello. You know, gosh, I know. <laughs> here we go. Um, can you can you believe how I, I remember when they started filming? You and I got together, and like filming is finally underway, yeah. and the whole Nev thing, all that stuff, way back in June. Can you believe now it's over? Like it's wrapped, it's done, it's it's all yeah. over, dude. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty like when they showed the. I didn't even uh, piece it together when they showed the production team, like everybody in the subway or whatever. And yeah. I saw that picture and I don't think I read like the description or anything, but then like a day or two later discussing film or somebody, uh, one of those bigger accounts on Twitter said like scream six is wrapped and they referenced that picture. And I was like, Oh, I didn't even know that that picture was supposed to be the wrap of the film, but kind of surreal yeah. that it's like, we, you know, we've done this once before technically, but we were a lot small. All of us, we were smaller than this is like this was almost like our a game right because we knew what to look for we were all you know we had the experience mm -hmm. of the first time doing it um and you know i think we got less this time even though like there was a lot i just feel like like i'm definitely more excited for the movie now than i was but i do feel like the filming of the the five the two years i feel like that was a little bit more impactful than this one was but we still got a lot of stuff and it is it's kind of insane to think that, like, right now, they're right in the editing room, right? They're going yeah. through everything. Like, that, that yeah. is nuts. And within the next three months, three and a half months, mm -hmm. we'll be seeing that first trailer, which is, that's insane. That's going to be insane. Seriously, is yes. Three and a half months. Think about that. That's all. Three and a half months. That puts us around Christmas week, somewhere in there. Yeah. We're going to be getting, a, probably, I predict we'll be getting our trailer, our first teaser yeah. for the movie. I mean... Wow, it's nuts. it really is nuts. Uh, and I've got, I'm actually working on a video that I started this morning. I'm going to finish it this afternoon. It'll go up by, by late afternoon. And uh, talking about some of the behind-the-scenes stuff with a, with a crew member. Who, wow. that uh, Yeah, it's really, really cool stuff. Sent me a couple of pictures, exclusive nice. images. And I've got those <laughs> to share. And it's just like, wow, it's all, you know, it's all over, you know? I mean, this is, yeah. it's, it's all the, and, you know, of course, Chris, you know, from Discover Montreal, who's been such an amazing friend of the channel over these last couple of months. And, you know, yeah. all the images, Alex, you've seen, you know, that he provided. All that stuff, just, it's incredible. It was just such a fun time. It yeah. really was. It was so much fun. And it had to um, do it all with the Nev situation. And I think it handled it pretty well in the sense that well not their response but in sense of like mm -hmm. it was still exciting like we still got excited seeing pictures or seeing you know like seeing a subway or seeing uh, jenna and, and melissa together like you still get excited over that stuff even with the the you know in the mm -hmm. background <laughs> there's still yes. there's still that issue um but yeah they they did about as well as you could honestly and we got the title you know, from it. So we did get, that was, that was my official prediction was that was, that was going to be the first thing we saw. It wasn't the mm -hmm. first thing, but it was, I would say out of this entire thing, it was the major thing we saw, right? We, none of the yeah, casting sure. really did anything to shock, like all that. Well, Samara obviously and seeing her there, but in terms of like leaking a death, there's, well, well, you know what? No, never mind. I mean, there uh, was that kind of stuff going around that maybe yeah. they filmed some alternate <laughs> scenes to throw people <laughs> off. Right. We'll see, you know, but I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Um Marisa's uh it's 547 p.m. in France. France. Wow. Oh, wow. That's incredible. We got so we've got I know just off the top of my head, I know we have someone here right now watching us in Finland. Oh my god. In Australia, France. You're um, worldwide. And, <laughs> it's pretty incredible, man. Yeah, it's 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 really amazing. Wow. Um, but yeah, we'll ultimately see what's going on, Polar. I see you there as well. Um, and look who's saying hello this morning. The Night what's Watch up? Zone. What is going on, dude? My good buddy, Night. Which, by the way, I just want to I want to pause for a second. Night just hit last night 
4,000 subscribers nice. on the Night Watch Zone channel. So, Night, I know I've already said congrats, but man, publicly, Alex and I awesome. together can, can congratulate you on that. That is incredible, man. So cool. I just, it's, it's, it's a, I was telling him, man, it's the coolest thing, Alex, that we can celebrate these milestones together. You know, yeah. we can yeah. experience that excitement. Did it happen that, live or did it happen just kind of like naturally off to the... I, I don't know for sure. I don't know. I don't think yeah. that it happened live, but I could be wrong. I, need to, I yeah. didn't even ask him. That was but so you, excited. And you, what you, did you hit 5K live? You were live. When yes. Hit, yeah. I don't yes. think I've ever hit a milestone. Well, milestone. Like, I've never hit one live. So maybe I'll have to try oh. to change that one day. Bro, <laughs> I know. And you've hit a lot of milestones, my man. You got to we gotta get that timing just right for this. No. Yeah. For the next one. You got to go live more. <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, thanks, Knight, for, for coming in and saying hello. Glad you're here, my friend. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've still been still been fighting a little something the last few days. But uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll persevere. It's <laughs> uh, uh, awesome, Knight. We love you too, buddy. Um, all right, man. So here we are. It's all done. It's all wrapped up. And we know one thing's for sure. Alex, we're going to have some really cool Easter eggs. And some are really overt and in your yeah. face. Others are not quite as as in your face as others. Because I, mean, I love these, like, I don't, I don't have a photo of all of them right now. Um, but I do have this one still saved in, you know, we have like the Jill shop, yeah. right? We had the Hanks steady hands barbershop for for hank loomis and then we had the, the the big box truck the ready or not movers yeah movers truck and then i don't know is this the one here yes this is my favorite easter egg shop sign abe's snake bodega so, Alex, are you familiar with the story behind this name? I think you told me it once. But okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, this is so cool because it's – and I'm so excited to see it in the, in the actual movie. And apparently, those shots of them in the grocery store, and you know, the, yeah. it's inside of this location. Okay. So, they're actually going to get – rumor is chased into Ooh. that bodega. That's the rumor. Yeah. So – um, yeah, so Abe Snake, that was a name that Wes Craven used as a character name on an X-rated film he made in 1975. And his character, he had a little cameo. I haven't seen it, but I've read the synopsis of it. Yeah. And that was his character was Abe Snake. So such going a, deep. They, that they is got, deep. Well, you know. Yes, so very, very deep. Uh, and, of course, as you saw this too, Alex, we knew Chris. We already knew it was going to be Halloween. Remember yeah. when Chris sent me that picture with a jack o' lantern, and then yeah. we got the full blown Halloween store. So it's like <laughs> it's a done. It, there is no question at all. So tell me your thoughts about how they're going to incorporate Halloween. What do you expect to see, or what do you hope to see? Maybe is a better question. Oh man, I mean, well, like a Halloween store is pretty cool because I think we've talked about like, do you do? Is if you do like a Halloween party, do you do anything with trick or treating? Like, does that is that involved in any way? And mm -hmm. in my opinion, you have to choose one or the other. I would like you're either outside with trick or treat, like a lot of the costumes there, or you're inside in a party, which is the same. The, the point of probably like ghost face hiding amongst other ghost faces is probably the idea, right? So yeah. I can see it. Something has to happen on Halloween day or night, uh, whether it be outside trick or treating or inside a party. It's probably the party. And then in terms of like an actual store, that would be cool the day of, the day before. You know, something like last minute shopping, or mm -hmm. or maybe it's an investigation. Maybe they're looking for if people have gotten ghost face costumes. Like, there's a lot you could do. But you know, I, I, we've said it before. Like, I'm I'm very excited for the idea of having Halloween. Just with the again though, with the the rumor that it doesn't end there it ends in november so it's like it's so yeah. gonna do something massive on halloween but that can't be the final act unless it is the final act and there's a time skip of a week and that's what the yeah. ending of the, the movie which you could do that i suppose um 
so yeah, but I, I am definitely pumped for, for Halloween. That, that should be sweet. Yeah, because it does. It, it opens up. I have to say this. Whether whether or not it's executed or not, we won't know till March yeah. of next year. But I can say this, Alex. The, the, the setups, the potential is yeah. there. They've done a really good job of putting themselves in a position that they yeah. can deliver on some stuff, man. You know, with the Halloween setting. You know, all the different sets with the subway, all the other stuff. I mean, those are some really, again, they've put themselves in a good place. Yeah. Not just go and kill it. Like, go <laughs> execute it. You can do it. The team um, is ready to win, but, you know, or all the pieces are assembled, but is the team going to, you know, yes. win the championship? That's kind of where we're at. That's where we're at. I agree. And no, Bobby's. It's, it's, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was oh, going to say. Bobby's slamming in with the five dollar super chat. Thank you, Bobby. Hello, Craven. I can't be long, but wanted to pop in and show some love. Well, thank you, man. I know that uh, I know with your schedule, it's so hard for us to get synced up on the shows. But uh, thank you, man, for your generous super chat. That's very sweet of you to do this morning, and always great to hear from you. Let me get you a clip here. Let's see. Alex, have you seen the spicy mustard clip yet? You, if it's newer, familiar? probably not. Then. Oh my goodness! This okay, could be folks. The first time for me. <laughs> oh man. Okay, everyone in the chat, we're gonna share spicy mustard with Alex for the very first time. All I can say is, my friend, uh, buckle up. That's all I can okay. say. All right, <laughs> buckle up. Here we go. Where did you get that from? <laughs> Man, my good friend, Brett James Bishop, somehow found this clip hmm. and provided comedy gold. Yeah. Or should I say spicy mustard gold? <laughs> it is something. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, it is something. I love that. <laughs> it's quickly becoming a favorite on the channel. I, no, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> and believe it or not, that song... Yeah. If you're not careful, after about a second or third listen, it gets embedded like, a, um, like an well, alien. I'll have to your take brain. your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I take your Well, if we get some more super chats, you That's might be able great. to hear it again before you leave today. You just never know what could happen. And guys, listen, if you have not subscribed to Alex's channel podcast now, please go hit that uh, link right here in the live chat. Thank you, Carrie. Thank and you. click that and go subscribe now. We're trying to get Alex to 70, right? Yeah, to 70K. Where are you? Where, where's your current? Yeah, I'm, I'm at 66.8. So, yeah, the rounding Whoa. to the next milestone, 70. Yeah, I feel good about Fantastic. it. I want to get to 75 by the end of the year is my kind of stretch goal. Um, yeah. And I think games and Scream and a lot of other stuff should help. So, I think so, man. I think the scream stuff's going to help a lot, especially as the year progresses. Yeah, December is going to be mad, like for all oh. of us, and leading into next year and mm -hmm. the Hogwarts Legacy for me, the Harry Potter, like Wizarding, that comes out in February. So I'm going to have back to back months of the biggest game on my channel, followed by Scream Six. It's going to be it's going to be beautiful, oh. to be honest. Yeah, it is. So that's awesome. Well, you're gonna you're gonna hit it, dude. I have no doubt about it. Thanks. And everyone here. If you have not subscribed, definitely go check out uh, Alex's channel. Subscribe. Let's help get him there. Every single subscription is one closer. Everyone counts. I'm so, a little controversial, but uh, but we're all friends here. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We absolutely are. You better believe it. Um, Alex is a, is a good guy. He's fair. You know, he's a, he's, and that's why. <laughs> I hear I, that. Yeah, that's what you I'm, are. You're very fair, you're man. Good. And you know, you're respectful too, man. You know, you're very respectful Thanks. and you're not afraid to like get engaged in a disagreement of opinions, <laughs> but, but that, but at the same time you get do it the right way. Disagree. I really like that. Uh, can I steal that? Of course. Like that. <laughs> Please That's do. Yeah. 
Because that's, that's how I look at it, you know? It's like, <laughs> he will engage, but he'll do it the right way. And real quick, Carrie says also, Alex's second channel, hey, Podcast Now Plus. You are on top of it. Thank you, Carrie. We she appreciate is. it. All of all, we've talked about your chat being just incredible. And, you know, they're a great group of people. I see them on, you know, they'll pop onto my videos when I do the scream video. It's a, it's it really is a great, like your community. We've said it before is truly amazing. I mean that. I, I thank you, Alex. I, I a hundred percent agree. I'm, I'm humbled really every day that I do this, that these amazing people um, are here and a part of this community. And, Speaking of the community, yeah, oh, one more. <laughs> wait a second here, guys. We just got ourselves a brand new channel member. All right, Kathy Bennett is a final cut channel member. Kathy, I'm so excited. Thank you for subscribing and uh, well, not just subscribing, but for becoming a channel member. So now I get to give you my special greeting that I get to do live, and I just love it whenever someone joins on a live stream because I can say this in real time. So Kathy, I want to say thank you first of all for not becoming only a subscriber and a watcher and an active participant, but no, you are now a channel member. You are now stepped into the inner circle of the cult of Craven. So everyone in the live chat, all of the all of my Cravenites that are here, please give Kathy a warm welcome in the chat and embrace and we like to do virtual hugs so here you go Kathy this is a virtual hug pretend you're in the middle <laughs> and uh, and that's my way of saying thank you so much and truly truly in all seriousness it means the world it, it helps beyond anything you can imagine every single one of you make a difference so thank you so much for that and speaking of channel members, Alex, this is the perfect time to acknowledge all of my channel members. Let's do that right now, real quick. I want to put the spotlight on all of you. And by the way, real quick, Dell Roller. Thanks. What's up, Dale? Says, I just subscribed to Podcast Now. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, so real quick, guys, I appreciate all of you who are doing over my patrons and channel members. And so, Kathy, the next time you see a live stream, or a video, your name will now be a part of this amazing list of community, uh, an amazing list of people that are just blow me away every day. So here you go, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you guys once again. So awesome. So Kathy, I appreciate you so much. Your name will be on the list, so stay tuned for that. Wow, that's exciting. What a you just never know what's gonna happen, Alex, on these live streams, man. You just, you just never know. Um, okay, so let let's let's back up here for just a second. So we're talking about Scream Six. <clears throat> oh goodness, we're talking about Scream Six, and uh, you know this is a random thought, man. But all these sets that they build, you know, in these sound stages, yeah, and all the props that they use. Can you imagine? How cool it would be to, if you're a prop master or something, and you're like, yeah. oh yeah, I need to. I'm gonna take this home. And I'm gonna <laughs> take that home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I uh, envy those people, and even like, um, you know, because I, I do martial arts. Like that's one of my uh, oh. side things, but it's a thing I've been doing for a very very long time. And I always, uh, I'm like, man, would that be cool to literally be able to like work with them on the stunts or yeah. you know, or whatever or you know. Um, training that they have to do for hand-to-hand -hand stuff because you're there but you don't really have the pr you don't have the pressure of a director or a writer or anything you're just you're doing your craft in that case would be you know kind of like that's uh, fighting i guess you get to work with them you're probably on the set because you can you know you have to be there maybe to walk it through or whatever i i envy those those are those are like the cool hollywood jobs that um i would leap at i wouldn't do the other ones because they're probably you know, you have to have no heart and soul. In order to <laughs> oh, Alex. Um, just real quick, Dark Moon says, hey, Craven, I would join. I just don't have the cash. You know, hey, Dark Moon, don't worry about it. It's not a bit. It's, it's no problem. No worries. The fact that you're here and you're, you're watching, in the community, that's, you're, that's what yeah. matters. Yeah. The fact that, 
you know you smash that thumbs up button you're here you're watching you're part, you're a great part of this of this community that's what matters you know that's you so it's okay it's all good don't sweat it it's no sweat youtube um, will supplement the cash from his actions and that's uh, yeah that's, that, that's right and speaking of likes let's see where we're at alex always like to see so we are currently at refreshing the browser here okay i'm showing 40 four likes there we go 44 okay so let's get this puppy over well over 50 let's get 60 at least <laughs> at least 60 this morning <laughs> um okay so we've got so much things oh oh alex did i show you or did you happen to notice you may not have seen it i did a video on the central park setting have you seen these photos yet I for scream six i think so Oh, dude. Okay, so Chris at Discover Montreal, he had reached out to me and said, hey, they're filming. This was like one of the, like right at the end, they were doing some filming at uh, La Fontaine Park in Montreal, which is their version, so to speak, yeah. of, of, of uh, Central Park. Take a look at this, man. Whoa. This is, this is some, these are a couple of shots he sent me of the park. And, there's another one here, and I don't know why. Um, I accidentally deleted it for another image, I'm guessing. But uh, <laughs> there's a third shot where there's a there's like a pond there, and I mean you could just you could just picture chase scenes going on in this thing, like yeah. at night, you know. So more trees still. I mean they 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 like their uh, their green in Montreal in general, mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> they do, lots of green. <laughs> But I'm just thinking, man. Like, how many locations do you think there are? Because you you brought up the 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 stages, and I took it in a different direction. But how many how many actual locations do you think we will visit in this film? Bet you've never been asked well, that before. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. So we know they're in that apartment mm -hmm. that uh, that they filmed in. There's a high rise apartment. That's yeah. one. We know that they're inside what and i'm 90 percent sure it's this building here yeah i so give it that that's that's two and subway would we consider that uh, that's going to be on the sound stage though that's all sound stage but, but well like but location in the film that's still oh, a like like in the yeah, yeah 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 no that's fair yeah so that's right so subway we've got like a park central park we'll say college um, College, yep. The theater. Oh, oh yes. Six. Have mm -hmm. we given up on the mansion, or is that still a consideration? Chris seems to have given up on the mansion, okay. so I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's good enough for me. <laughs> yep. Six. That's Gail's six. apartment. Does that count? Uh, yeah, I would think so. I think Gail's apartment Nine. will count. Do we think she's going to be in studio? Do we still believe that Ooh. they built like a talk show thing? It seems to me they almost had to, because okay. if she's still, okay. yeah, I think so. I think that'll be in there. Um, Kirby's house. Kirby's house. Yep. You just. Nine. Yep. That's right. Um, um, to to any see. other places that they have been? I mean, then I assume inside the school, but we just, we haven't seen it. Yeah, that'll be probably sound stages, but it's still inside the school. They'll be in a classroom, yeah. I'm sure. At least maybe one. 10, maybe 10, 12 locations. Because I was thinking, like, you know, when you think of, like, the, is there's chase scenes and all this stuff, but I wonder just how many, like, centralized places will this movie take place. I'd like to count five one day, I guess, to know. But five, yeah, because <laughs> everything's so uh, secluded when you're in Woodsboro. Like, you're so, everything's so close to each other. This one, especially if you split them up into, like, groups, like detective groups or whatever, they've really... You can have them be in like three locations each. That would still be like nine, ten, eleven places if it's three groups. Dude, yeah, because you, you're right. Because you got your core four plus your yeah. college kids. You've got Henry Zerny, Segura, Dermont. Oh, the police station. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. They're yep. gonna be going to that police station for sure. Just another yep. one. Um, and then you've got where's your... that fridge that we think that Tara will get into? Is that an apartment or? I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, Which I love. Do you love? Do you like that? Because I love that, and I assume that's an Indiana Jones reference, right? 
So I'm guessing, yeah, I don't, a, I, mean, I don't. I don't know horror. Is there a horror movie where somebody empties a fridge to hide in it? No, nah, otherwise it there has could to be. be. But yeah, nothing that I can think of. I mean, if, yeah. if, if you guys know of one in the chat, let us know. But um, yeah, I, 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 that's you've got like at least three different potential kind of groups of people yeah. that you know because you got Gail too, and then we don't forget about Kirby. Kirby's yeah. gonna be living somewhere, you yeah. know. Assuming we see her house and Samara yeah. weaving, where's she, where's she gonna be? In you know, in the mix here. You buy the whole being her being like the rival reporter idea. I mean, I think it's interesting, and I think it's possible, but I don't really. I I, I don't know, man. I don't lean that way personally. Yeah. Yeah. Just and it's just. Again, not based on any real facts. It's just, but it is interesting though that she's dressed in the same color dress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Necessary. That's hard to get over. That there's a fridge in it chapter two. Oh, maybe. I okay. I, just, I feel like it's definitely Indiana Jones is like the biggest pop culture one I can think of. A person hiding in an emptied fridge. So. And yeah. when they, they stab through it, man, so I, I like I like that. I just love that Ooh, idea. Oh, yeah. And Tara does not get it easy. Actually, that kind of confirms that Tara is at least part of one chase scene or like attack. So she just does not get it easy with her <laughs> her life in these films. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Um, uh, Lee's got a great question for us. Lee says, what is the set you guys are most excited for? Oh, that whatever the fridge is. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is on the fridge kick, man. I love it. Um, either that or Kirby's house, because it could either be a mm, flashback, which is exciting, or yeah. it's where she lives now. But but it seems like the rumor is they rebuilt the house from four, so it's got to be a flashback. You know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. So the house simply because of a flashback for me. Yeah. Too. And what will that? What, what do you th do? You think there's any chance we're gonna get a cameo of Jill Roberts in that flashback yeah, scene? I think I think it's actually kind of high. I'd put oh. I, I'd bet on it. <laughs> I, I honestly would. With with Emma's Emma is in like everything nowadays. Firstly, yeah, she's, she made that really weird line that she doesn't think she's done. She made it a, at around the exact same time they'd be filming. I feel like it's almost a hint that's like, hey, you know, I filmed a small, like very small, like my my. You know, my role wasn't done yet, but I filmed for like two days there and I'm back. And that's the goodbye to the character that I didn't get to say yeah. uh, 11 years ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly think she would be in it either. But and maybe she'd be dead because if it's Kirby after she gets stabbed. Right. Then maybe. Well, well, you could have her laying on the ground. She wouldn't actually be dead in that scene. Right. So something like that. I don't know if she'd necessarily be active and moving around unless it's a flashback even further backwards mm -hmm. in time to when they're talking to each other could um be. Yeah. it doesn't have to be her talking it could literally be her laying on the floor but then you'd have nev you have like a, a stand-in no, for Sydney. no 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 don't do that but i don't know what you would <laughs> yeah I, I, maybe it would be the party when they're all talking right before everybody starts to get split up is then you can uh -huh. have them together talking yeah something with just the two of them right just the two of them uh and it could be a flashback to some some scene that we never saw in the movie, you know, they yeah, just, just they, like a car ride with them talking yeah. to each other, you know, it's, yeah, something simple like that. I think simple. she'll be in it, honestly. I think that so. would be awesome. I have to say, if Emma, if if uh, if Emma Roberts jumps as comes on that screen, I'm gonna be Pretty like, sweet. oh, yeah, yeah it's love, those I are the love little that. wins that you hope they do with or without Nev, if she's in it or not, yeah. like that helps. That, that, that would really, especially if it's in the beginning. I think some people will honestly not have a clue what's going on because a lot of people didn't watch Ford. I, I feel like they would watch six, but mm -hmm. the Die Hard again, you have to make them yeah. happy. I think at the end of the day, too, yep. they're the ones who are going to see your movie eight times. So that's right, exactly. <laughs> your casual fan's going to go once, and that's probably about it. Yeah, in the theaters, you know, then they may rent it or buy it later, but yep. we're the ones going to be going up there day after day, <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's great. And I think for me, my my I'm most excited for if I had to say the most it's probably the subway 
It really is because I think you could do so much yeah. in that environment, and and it's so never been done before. That's yeah. so out of the box, Alex. Do you think screen. they'll have like the classic? Nobody's there. Train goes by. Ghostface is standing there. Do you think they would do that? Oh. Whole kind of. I mean, it's cliche. It's been done in like any everything, but you've never seen Ghostface do it. No. So defeat, you know what I mean? I feel like it could be fun. It could be. I mean, the way I look at it is, I'm not going to be one of these that are going to sit there and criticize their their, their choices. Yeah. I'm going to be just celebrating yeah. that they've thought <laughs> out of the box and done something that never has been done. Yeah. So even if it's not like maybe they don't, maybe it's not my most favorite kind of setup. I, but I'm not going to be one of those guys. Like yeah. it's like it's just like I criticize or maybe not criticize is the right word, but I call into question is a better way to say it. People that criti that who do criticize the voice changer in Scream Three, all oh, that technology. I'll, I'll criticize it though. I'll be and going. that's okay. And I, and I respect I respect everyone's opinion. But here's the thing, you know, I celebrated that Wes did something different yeah. from the first two. That that was brand new. To, it yeah. was like oh, I've never seen that before. And I enjoyed it. That's actually I actually got into it and just let yeah. my house. I let myself have fun with it. I'm not gonna sit there, you know what I mean? So again, I understand it's a, it's a volatile topic for that movie, but <laughs> but I'm not gonna say give me something new. Give me something new. Well, it's it, and yeah, they, it, right. It's one you know of those. What I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's. I can. I think I can stand on both words. When I think we're kind of with each other, where we both said if they try things new, you can you can at least at the very least respect the new thing. Yeah, and then even if the execution, so that and that's kind of where I stand. I would set three is tough though because wasn't that kind of like the fad back then anyway? The voice change, like a, it was new for Scream, but it wasn't necessarily I think new in the like the industry. But but I do think like I I would give them that flair kind of credit where it's like this is different. Yeah. Then I will also say I don't like because then you'd say I don't like it. But those are two kind of separate things. That's how you view it. But it's also giving them the respect of going outside the box, which is exactly what I would do in six if they do something brand mm -hmm. new yep. or do something with Sam that's new, but she's not a good character. But you can separate kind of those things, you know what I mean, where you respect the new change, but you don't like the execution or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I told you um, I'm controversial. <laughs> oh, I love it. But no, but <laughs> you're right, though. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, real quick, Ethan White's asking me, do I take requests for God Snacks? Yeah, actually I do. In fact, for those of you who don't know, I have a new channel. I just launched it on Friday. It's not oh, even a week old yet. And it's called God Snacks with an X. The Bible in Small Bites. Where I do devotions. I do all types of... Everything's under 10 minutes. That's why it's called Snacks. Because nice. sometimes the people see like sermonettes or, 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 or devotions or, or yeah. theological things... They think, you know, an hour, 45 yeah. minutes for an hour. No, no, no. It's going to be under 10 minutes every video. And I'm, I'm going to have a new video posting tomorrow. So, Carrie uh, or Valerie, if you wouldn't mind, please put a link now to the God Snacks channel in the chat. I would really appreciate it if you guys would go subscribe. Check it out. I know it may not be for everybody, and that's okay. But go check it out. If you want to support me in another way, you can support me over there. Subscribe. Watch the video. I would just say, look, go with an open mind. Watch the material. And then if you don't like it, that's fine. I respect that. Um, but at least give it, a try. give it a try. See what yeah. you think. I have just one video up right now. And the video that's up now, Alex, is the question is, is heaven real? Nice. So Starting go, with a punch. <laughs> yes, going with a punch right out of the gate. And lots more coming. I'm going to be doing about two videos a week is what that's I'm trying awesome. to get done. And yeah. So anyway, yeah. Go check it out. And Ethan, answer your question. Yes, I will take requests. You can uh, message me over on Instagram or Twitter, and I will definitely take. Con I will consider requests for future videos. Yes, hundred percent. All right. And thank you, Carrie or Val or Jen, whoever, um, for putting that in the chat, so those folks can go subscribe. I'd really appreciate you guys. I am already at like sixty-seven subscribers. Since nice. Friday, so let's go. Let's get That's this good, thing up. Yeah, starting a second channel off the main channel is a whole lot easier <laughs> than that first channel. Yes.
Yes. Of course, this is such a contrast it, in topic yeah, yeah, and yeah. format too. It's like, well, it's, I respect it's, that. I respect that, that, Thank you, man. Mine is basically a cop out where I just do the same things. <laughs> just put it on it. <laughs> At least you're doing something different. No, that's I didn't even know that. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's so new. I, I mean, again, it's not even a week old. It just yeah just just happened, and nice. I've been thinking about starting it for months since like last probably December. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'll do it next month, or <laughs> I'll get to it you next. Gotta go month. with it. You got yeah. When you got an yeah. idea, you gotta roll with it to literally just see what happens. You just know, see what happens. Yeah, I mean that's exactly right. I'm like, I'm never gonna know until I just do it. Just do it. Yep. And, you know, let's you know, I want to get like 10, 15, 20 videos up, and then start getting a feel for how things are looking. But um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where things might go over there over god snacks um and lee the nerd by the way he was asking me that question just a minute ago about asked us that question about our location uh right here lee the nerd she designed the logo she's nice. a gifted artist and so she designed the logo of the little animated cartoon character yeah he's got like a bag of chips but oh, it's, nice. but instead of chips it's god snacks <laughs> and he's dumping it out and his little tiny bibles are going into his mouth <laughs> oh that's sweet it's, it's pretty cool um anyway so yeah back to scream though let's take a look here um and i'm i'm, I'm trying to keep an eye out as for questions from the crowd yeah, was, as well larissa had the question about heather's interview i don't know if there's any questions before hers oh yeah 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 what time what time stamp is that one alex uh, 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 i'm, I'm, uh, behind, I'm God, way oh, behind yeah. Like more in the nine fifteen range, uh, nine seventeen. Okay, so that'd be eleven seventeen. My right time. before your second channel link. Oh, real quick here, Pluto says Craven. I just saw I've seen Josh Sagara in a couple of the She Hulk episodes, and I'm getting Derek vibes. Oh wow! But I know he played a dodgy guy on Arrow or something, so it's a toss up. Yeah, the, uh, and I haven't seen Arrow, Alex. Have you, you I, ever see Arrow? I've, I've seen Arrow, Arrow, but I haven't seen him in Arrow, and I haven't watched She-Hulk, so I'm still going in blind with a lot of these actors. <laughs> <laughs> I should All watch Yeah, Shoot. Maybe I should watch it just to kind of get the sense of him as yeah. an actor. Right, exactly. I didn't even know he was in She-Hulk, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't either. Hmm. All I'd heard was that in, in Arrow, he played like a villain, like he was a yeah. bad guy. Um, all right, so let me let me fast forward up here to catching up on the chat, which I'm. Oh, well, you got you guys all out there who who are here. You guys know it's so hard, man. <laughs> I'm much to, worse, <laughs> so you're doing fine. <laughs> oh, it's uh, here we go. Hey guys, what's up, Larissa? What are your thoughts on the Heather Myers interview about Scream Seven? So, Alex, have you seen that yet? Yeah, I made a video. I I, I uh, mm. took the plunge. I saw it. I gotta see night. that. So I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, that was my it was my rare scream video of the past uh, week and a half. No, I, I I saw it on Twitter and I was like, yeah, this is definitely worth a video because just the way. So I, my very condensed thoughts would be, yeah, I don't think she's in the know enough to like fully fully base everything off of oh she knows the grand plan. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows the grand plan, it's either Jenna, Melissa, Nav, Courtney. It'd be like those four. I don't think they're telling yeah. her. I mean, to be, I mean, come on, to be serious. I don't I think know. they're telling her much, but she is very confident, though, in her aunt. Like, you know, what I mean, you can kind of sense the confidence where she talks about the final installment for seven. Is she saying that as a fan that you look at seven, you say, yeah, that's the trilogy. So, of course, it ends at seven. Or does she know that? That's, you know, that's the debate. And then, yeah. but now in terms of, you know, she also kind of sounded confident that she'd be back in seven. That could be something they told her. I mean, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? I don't think they told her the grand plan because I just don't think she's like important enough to tell that to. But in terms of like, you know, is my character going to return? Yeah, Heather, we're thinking about it. Like it's, it's looking good. That's an easy conversation that could have had. So that's yeah. my condensed thoughts. <laughs> but seven, I am at seven is the end. I don't think it's the end forever. Just like no. Halloween will never. Uh, these movies, no, no as way. long as you can make money, which you can on any of these, then they'll, they'll never end. No. Yeah, I think seven. 
much like you said, it's going to be like Halloween, the current, the current David Gordon Green yeah. trilogy will yeah. end. And I think this will be the, this will be the end of the radio silence yeah. era, the trilogy. I think I wouldn't be surprised if after that for, for eight, nine and 10, they bring new director in completely new writer. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. They could bring them back. It's possible. Depends but on how six and seven do. <laughs> it think. really does, man. Yeah. And they need to be six and seven need to be really good movies. Yeah. Just, you know, like just make them really great, fun, good movies. Yeah. And make it a little bit more hard to figure out. Let, let's keep us guessing in six. Like, I really want to be like, Alex, it's the third, it's the third act. Yeah. And I'm in my mind, I'm watching this and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Or I even still just like know. in our predictions videos, like if if I say, Oh, I think this character's like I do a ghost face prediction, you do a ghost face, and they don't match. Like that's the yeah. best scenario is then I can make my points and you can make your points and they're both fine. You know what I mean? Whereas for five, we were all saying, <laughs> you know, the same thing. Yeah. Because it's obvious. It was obvious. Uh that trailer's gonna be like for as excited as I am, I think everybody's kind of in the same boat. We're all super excited for the trailer, but then there's that split of people being like, I'm excited, but I'm not watching it. I'm not watching anything. And then also <laughs> there's just everyone else that's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited or we'll watch it, but we yeah. kind of expect spoiler. Yeah, like and because they uh, haven't proven and it's not them, but they haven't proven right. to be able to hide anything. I just hope it's not no. worse than five. Five oh. trailer. In terms of spoilers, and it's spoilers because yeah. the trailer is actually very good for five. Like it's a really good, tra I think. Like yeah. it, it gets the excitement back. I mean, that's what you want a trailer to do: reintroduce, get people excited, have people ask questions. That's the whole point. And they did all of it, but then they also added on a fourth bulletin, which was uh, give the movie away. Yes. <laughs> and they did that. And like so. that trailer was was good. Like like if you if you without knowing the movie, it's great. Yeah. Because you don't know, you know, you're just taking it all in. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And the music. Yeah. Phone call opening it. You know, yeah. with the trailer and her answering the phone. Like, yeah, it, it's a really good trailer. It's like, it, I really couldn't have asked for excitement wise much more. Yes. But, uh, but I remember saying in the moment, this is spoiling a lot. And people were saying, mm -hmm. oh, just give the movie a chance. No, actually, I was right. <laughs> I think all of us were yeah. right, you know? Anybody totally. calling it and saying, you know, this actually seems a little like a spoiler thing. People were like, no, you're reading too much into it. No. No, unfortunately. And I, kept, <laughs> yeah. I, kept tell, I kept telling myself, because I remember reading that interview with Chad Valella of Radio yeah. Silence, saying how the trailer's filled with misdirection. And yeah. I'm like, really? It's very, very deceptive, was how he <laughs> described it. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, Oh, maybe half the scenes in the trailer are fake. They're they're not even gonna yeah. be in the movie, dude. Yeah. They were all in there, yeah. except for the one that was the best shot, which was the silhouette on the wall. Yes, with Vince's yeah, the, car. Yeah. Yep. They the one cut that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrie, thank you for that. Real quick, I just want to say thank you, guys. There is my new channel, God Snacks. Go check it out. Have a little bite of the Bible today. I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah, man, I just dang it. It was, it really was looking lo looking at back at the trailer, and they're not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on five. It's over. It's that was January. We're moving on. But I but I agree though. I hope that the marketing team, the people yeah. that put the trailer together, have kept said, okay, guys, let's don't make these mistakes like we the made. Thing last I get week. worried about. Here's what I get worried about when. Like, why would they pivot from the strategy of Five's trailer? And the only reason would be, like, fans. And I I, I think kind of overwhelmingly people accept that it was a good trailer, but it spoiled everything, so maybe don't ever do that again. But then you have, like, the whole Twitter thing that happened, if you remember, which got me pretty upset at the time, is there was that narrative, because, of course, you can't say anything negative, there was a narrative, including from actual directors of other films, and I'll, I, I know the name, but I won't say it, that were basically accusing people that if you saw spoilers in the film, it's only because you're one of the, like, um, 
uh, like super obsessed. Like you watch the trailer 15 times, of course you're going to see it. So there was that narrative to counter because of course they're, you know, they're trying to protect themselves and, and other yeah. directors in Hollywood, uh, they all have to kiss up to each other. And th there was absolutely, I, I know who it is that I'm talking about, you know what I mean? But there was that narrative of only the people that are talking like this. They're the ones that watch the trailer 15 times. And I go on record saying you could spot it all in one go, maybe two, but one yeah. go and then the tv spots of seeing judy's death i mean like how far do you oh, want to go they left they let the blonde that, hair yeah. alex yeah, remember blonde, they yeah. left the blonde hair is Outside, there it's in broad daylight you see the hand you see yeah, the, her literally her hair color and again it just becomes did you want to follow your gut and say that's judy or did you want to kind of be bullied into submission by people online saying well don't don't think about it too because it's just a tv spot well it spoiled the movie so, yeah, I guess my point is with that whole stupidity that was going on, will they actually change anything? Because they could do the exact same thing this time. They could say, well, of course, if you watch the trailer 15 times, of course, you'll be able to spot it. It's like, no, maybe just make a better trailer. <laughs> so that, that got me mad when I, it was like movie directors, other directors saying it. It's like, you come on. Yeah. No, man, they, yeah, it just, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It, does it have spoilers in it or not? Yes or yeah. no? It's just it's just that simple, you know. Um, and you know, I like I say, I know it's the risk we take, uh, especially yeah. as content creators. Where I watch the trailer, it well, the first time I watch it is regular speed. Yeah. After about the third or fourth time, I'm now going into uh, video creation mode. Right. And I yeah. slow the trailer yeah, yeah. down to quarter speed yeah there's a fine line between like whining about it and, and 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 not understanding that situation where it's like we are factually different than the majority it, it yes. doesn't make anybody better than anybody it's just we no. will look at it differently than others because of like you literally just said you you watch it as a fan the first time like i did it i woke up yep. way too i mean i'm not a morning person i woke up early <laughs> i went into a closet because i had to do like a video and everybody was sleeping and I watched it as a fan and I was like, my heart was pounding. Like I was genuinely excited. But then after that, you watch it as a, not really a critic, but like an analyst. You're, oh, let me look at that. Yeah. It, and I get not everybody does that. But again, you can spot those things on the first go. You don't have to watch it 15 times. You don't no. need a 30 minute Easter egg breakdown video to see these spoilers. They show Judy's death. They show Amber on fire. Like what? These are right. big Things. You know what I mean? They're they're apt. Well, the Judy's death was later, but you know what I mean. It's like these are huge things. You don't need to watch it in, uh, you know, yeah, the, like a uh, slower speed. You don't need to do that, you know, to yeah. see those things. No, you're right. Uh, Pluto's saying, I think bodes well that Josh has played a villain and a good guy. It's the kind of vibe an actor needs to be in a screen movie. <laughs> it does because it range. It does give range, and that's really what we want, right? I like the red herring to be. One moment, I'm just sure it's not him. Yeah. But then there's little things. It's like, well, well shoot. You know, maybe it could be them. And Isn't that, does that almost give it away, though? Because aren't, for the most part, like Amber, I wouldn't really say, but even like Jack Quaid for Richie, doesn't he kind of play that where he literally snaps? And that shows a great range in his acting where he snaps and he's a lunatic at the end, but he's not that throughout the rest of the movie. You know, what I mean, like, like, yeah, Steve always kind of had that like edgy, <laughs> he like did. he's going to, you know, what I mean, but but to have somebody with range that can literally be pure good and pure bad, that is it's probably the best case scenario. But it's also uh, almost uh, like a like you you eye it. It's like, well, that would be the classic pick to be Ghostface mm -hmm. because they're able to do both. And that's what you would want from the actor playing Ghostface. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, Doctor Andy says, "Is there a screen trailer yet?" I wish. No, they haven't you even probably. Based on how I'm talking, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's exciting stuff. No, they 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 probably haven't even just beginning to even look at the footage, the cut, all the, the raw footage. Yeah. Um, we we probably will see a, like an actual trailer sometime in December. We're guessing, like yeah. mid December maybe. Um, but it could also, it could also. Um, I don't think it's out of the question, Alex, that in like October we have just one. Here, I'm going to pitch this idea to you. 
I want to get I want to get your thoughts because I, I I personally like it, but this is my opinion. So what if we get something like this? We get this really zoomed in shot that you can't really make out what it is. It's kind of grainy, and all you hear is people walking up and down the street, horns honking, honk, honk, talking, chatter, and then the the image starts the camera starts to pan back so it starts to become clear and then you hear yeah. a dj in the speaker say good morning new york city it's going to be a high oh. of 65 degrees today sunny and you know whatever you ever make sure you yeah. go to the park get outside and the whole time you're hearing this it's panning back to a ghost face mask and you see the new york city yeah. lights or skyline dude and yeah. that's the teaser yeah. in october I like coming it. March 31st. Yeah. I like it. I think it, if you can, can, and you don't have, like, there's a list or range of things. Like if you in a teaser teased one of, or multiple of Ghostface slash the mask, a pumpkin for Halloween or Halloween decorations, like you said, something to put you in the vibe of New York. So whether that be an announcement mm-hmm. or, statue of liberty like some uh, that's so obvious right but so it's maybe something more subtle like what you said uh more like voicing things if you could do two of those four or five things in one go i think i feel like you would play the halloween angle to be honest because if it yeah. is you know what i mean if you do october maybe a ghost but like ghost face pumpkin did they do that two years ago because that would be a real good idea to do now but i don't know if they already did that um i don't remember like on their discord or something if they ever posted a picture but Ooh. Even something like that where it pans away and it's ghost faces or the mask over a pumpkin or mm-hmm. him carved in a pumpkin in general to signal, obviously, two things right there. So that would be kind of cool. Yeah, dude. Anything like that would be cool. And I, and I would think you could make that because, see, that doesn't require yeah, 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 you to have any yeah. editing of the film. You're not even – this is just yeah. something you shoot off to the side real quick. and. Yep. I don't and, see how you let. I mean, October last or last time last year was, you know, when uh, we got the trailer. You can't like when your movie is coming out in that range. Like if your movie was coming out in September or August, then yeah, October doesn't really work. You know what I mean? But because yeah. it's afterwards, you can't let October go. I think without embracing the Halloween. You know, it, it makes way too much sense to do something. You can't yes. skip it, and that's if your movie releases think- in. Yeah. November, February, January, like you still have October as that, that you, but, but you can't start the trailer then because that's way too early. So I get that, yeah. but yeah, some sort of tease um, or like, because what we get last time is we just got what in the hospital, right? Or the, the image when it was in the editing bay. So that's, I think all oh, we yeah, really yeah. got back then. Yeah. 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 That's right. It, it wasn't a whole lot. And it just seems to me again, You've got another Halloween movie coming out. It would yeah. be nice to capitalize on something. And, I mean, just make it, you know, like I say, make it a 30 seconds. That's yeah. all, you know, and that's all it is. Uh, I, I would absolutely love it if they would do that. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, it, they may not. Like you say, they, they may let it go. But it seems to me they'd be a missed opportunity not to get something. Yeah. Something out there in October. Um, man, so I have to ask you this, man. We got this great cast, right? The core four, we've got Gail, we've got Samara, we've got Hayden. So what, how do you feel that this is going to all come together? And this is the magic question. Of course, none of us know the answer, so it's okay. (laughs) And this is almost one that you want to get wrong. Yeah, <laughs> because you want to be surprised. But uh, how do you how do you see Samara in this movie? Do you think we're going to lose her at the midpoint as Cece Cooper, or do you think she's going to be sprinkled in like a oh. Debbie Salt throughout the oh, movie? Oh dear. <laughs> um. Well, it really could be either. I would have gone more for. But see, either one of those can work for like a limited amount of time on set. So yes. I don't know which one I had always. I guess I thought CC would have been. Or I guess my prediction in order would have been opening kill. Mm-hmm. But there's no at this point. There's no way I'd say because she was on set too long. 
I think so, so too. now she's either a CC character or a Debbie Salt in it, five, six scenes. But yet, it, but I, I don't know. I'd really like to know how long she was actually there from start to finish, but it seems like she was actually there. And considering they, whatever the dates, the, you know, all of our wires were crossed when it came to the, that ending date of the filming, right? So they got more time. So they were on set longer than we thought they'd be. Um, I do think she'll die. Is that a cop out answer? I think she will die. <laughs> I think she will too. I do. Yeah. And I don't think she's Ghostface. Yeah. She's not Ghostface. Mm. It's too obvious. Again, like the yeah. whole Josh thing, this is an even less subtle <laughs> a subtlety. <laughs> it, the fact that you look at her and say, yeah, that's a Ghostface character should tell you don't make her Ghostface, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it, I, it's hard to agree with you. I mean, to disagree with you because I she is so, like, just the natural choice to be Ghostface. Yeah. And that's the very reason why she <laughs> really can't be. Yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, so if they're – because cause Tyler said they, they're going to – they're willing to risk it all to subvert yeah. expectations for this movie. Yeah, risk well, it that, all by like, giving Ghostface to like your star pupil, like the like the actress that you like so much that you bring in the movie. Like that doesn't that's not risking anything. <laughs> that's no. playing it very safe. Very safe. So I'm with you, man. I originally thought she was going to be the opening kill. That's why I was my position for a while. Yeah. But and, seeing her there for so long, like you said, that she was not just there for three days. Yeah. Or a week. <laughs> I mean, it was longer. So yeah. I have it can't, to believe can't be an opening kill at this point. I, I agree. No, she's Although gonna have Jaylen to be involved. Tamara filmed for about three days, but how do you know that? <laughs> mm. that I just feel it. like when we knew she was in Canada versus when we've seen multiple pictures of her, that's more than three days. I get that the order could be out of sync or whatever, and maybe they held True. on to the pictures to make her scene. That could be. I mean, they could have held on to pictures to make it seem like she was there longer than she actually was. Um, and again, but well, like you said earlier, Stephen, like this is a good thing to be wrong. Like if we can be wrong yeah. on more this time, does it hurt our reputation? Maybe, but, <laughs> but at the same time, it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. I think so. Hey, Memo boy, what's going on? Glad, glad you caught us as well. It's excellent. Um, yeah, and that's the other thing too, is you can't, you know, you can't trust – the timing of when people film stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, they, they, they could the, I mean, they could have filmed the opening kill here at the end. They could have right. filmed it in, in the middle. We don't know. It's just could have been anywhere. So, yeah. you know, we, we have to be real careful to not say, Oh, well, this person's not there anymore. So they're not, they're, they're not going to be, you know, that's movie magic, my friend. Yeah. Right. We know how these editing works. So, yeah. So yeah, like Courtney and Jasmine or like Jasmine was there seemingly from the beginning, but she did not make it all the way to the end. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. And Courtney wasn't there in the beginning and she also wasn't there at the end. She was kind of there in that July month. Um, but that doesn't yeah. mean it's, you just film you film what you're able to film when they're there. I mean, it's that's it. Yeah, I 100 uh, percent. And that leads us to also and we'll start. We'll start to making our way towards uh, wrapping things up here soon. Uh, you good for about 15 more minutes? Yeah. So that was a, a go. Okay. Um, and this is the last thing maybe for now for Scream. And then yeah. we'll touch on Halloween. We'll just touch on it for a little Sounds bit. Good. And then maybe I'll bring you back for more Halloween talk later. <laughs> but uh, or it's more dedicated. Our knowledge is limited, but we will Yeah, we that's can okay. Do. Or maybe this will be the perfect amount of time then you may work <laughs> out. <true. laughs> but uh we've talked about Samara, so I have to ask Hayden. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What's up with Kirby man? Um uh, I know that she's not gonna die in the beginning because Jenna let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. When Jenna said that she has a great redemption story. Yeah. So that tells me she's going to be around for a while. So do you think Kirby makes it? Two questions. Do yeah. you think, A, she makes it to the third act? And, B, do you think she survives the film? Yes to both. Um, mm. Yeah, I I want her to make it all the way through to go into seven. I think 
the more I think about it, well, I mean, we've obviously talked that we just don't want her to die. I yeah. get the idea of bringing her back and, and doing something cool with her character to then let her die. The issue I've always had is I don't know how much respect you'll get from me if you bring back one of your favorite or your favorite characters, depending on which of the you know two we're talking about directors. You bring her back. You give her 12 minutes of screen time, which I'm going to honestly lay down the bet that it's under 15, and then you kill her. I, I don't exactly see yeah. how that's respectful. Um, and also, if you – there's a long – and I this is the first time I've thought about it. If you play the arc that she's a redemption story to then protect the kids or the new age by sacrificing herself, didn't we just do that with Dewey? Now, I've never said that out loud before. I've never really thought about it before. But if you did that, which is kind of the cop-out answer that people will say, is that if she just is like a protector, because I could see it. You could easily see it. She lays down her life to save Mindy's because she has this yeah. thing. Yeah. But, and she does need a redemption story, I guess, but does she need the redemption story ending of her dying? Because that's exactly what they did to Dewey. True. So you want to do that twice in a row? Um, yeah. not to carry to the directors do they yeah. want to do it twice in a row so I, I i say just keep her and then you can do whatever you want to her in seven if you want to kill her in seven you kill her in seven but to do it twice i just feel like the dewey thing would now that i've said it out loud is gonna haunt me you know oh dewey <laughs> dang it <laughs> well, don't worry you'll be able to live it all over again if they do it to kirby <laughs> oh no that's not don't do it um, uh, but right i mean because he like it's not necessarily he did mm -hmm. not necessarily sacrifice himself yeah you know? so if they literally had her step in front of a knife attack that is right. factually different but let's not play stupid what they were doing with dewey from a writing perspective and from a directing perspective he is sacrificing himself to save the young group so or like a mentor which is exactly yeah. what so I guess it would play out slightly different, but then should we expect Courtney to do the next, the same thing in seven that she exactly right? I mean, it's because you're just repeating the same thing again. I mean, how many times are we going to have a sacrificial quote death in these each yeah. of these movies to the point where it's like it just becomes so predictable? It's, it loses its effectiveness. Yeah, you know. Um, I think Kirby, my opinion, she needs to survive. They need to they need to have her survive. Maybe she does help someone live. Maybe she gets sort of really bad and she gets, you know, she loses a lot of blood, let's just say. Yeah. But she doesn't die from it. She makes it through. And, yeah. and then in seven, you have choices. Either you bring her back or you just let her go. You know, we never see her again. You know? Yeah. I mean there's options there so i'll be i personally for me will be disappointed if she dies in Same. the movie yeah and as far as gail goes <laughs> i know i said that was the last thing but we really haven't talked about gail at all so um the rumor is she's gonna have a featured role like and, and she filmed for for quite yeah. a while alex she was she was there for a while so yeah. She, it looks like, at least screen time wise, it's going to be pretty, pretty high. Yeah. So, what do you, what do you want to see from her? Do you want her to see, see her be kind of that co lead with Sam and Tara, kind of that dual running story? Yeah. Uh, in if the she, movie, if she's like third on the runtime list behind, which would be interesting if, if she's ahead of Mindy and Chad, but below, she will, she will be below, you know, uh, Sam and Tara because they've been there. The whole time, yeah. that's all you see, which is fine. And I, again, I kind of respect that. We said from the beginning, you need to give these two a lot of screen time. Not that they listened to us, but they did listen to us. And they, you know, I think they're going to be in the movie a ton, yeah. which is good because they, the yeah. movie will sink or swim with if they can continue Tara's upward and then fix Sam. And the movie will sink or swim based off of that uh, easily, yes. I think, if you're going to see them so often, right? But yes. no, um, for Gail, again, just don't touch her in terms of if you want to give her like a chase scene, that's fine. But don't kill her. Um, I don't want a repeat of her character in all the other films for the like, you know, kind of having to go through the she's selfish again and then she works her way out of it to only then become selfish the next film. Um, 
But yet again, the good news is if they are lightly tapping into the energy of two, that was her best character arc film. Oh, so in yeah. terms of what they could yeah. do here with, you know, uh, being okay with Dewey not being around anymore, if that's kind of like the central theme of her loss, then that's should be exciting. So I, I hope I hope she's not the same character in the sense that we're doing the same arc, you know, again and again and again. But bigger than any of that, do not kill her. Even if I mean, if she asks to be killed, that's different. But um, don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Hopefully, she won't. <laughs> exactly. But we'll we'll have to see uh, what how this is going to go down with Gail. I want her to live. I don't want her. You know, I don't want to lose an OG in four five. Yeah. Another of the OG original in six. Yeah. And then we have seven. The only ones no, left. can't touch Nav. That's the good news is she's yeah, very that's... protective, which I, yes. no matter what happened with her with the money talks, wherever you stand on that, I'll always respect her mm-hmm. stance on, if you kill Sydney, I'm not signing on the movie. I, lo- yeah. I love that. Me too, man. Uh, Carrie says real quick, I think Kirby should only be in six. She survives and they let her go. Kind of wants Sid to be the cliffhanger. So we can have implications of Stu's return. I'm sorry, but I would just love it. I'm sorry. So oh, Kirby uh, lives in six, and they like send her off, and you never see her again. That's what the point. yep, yeah, yep, I'd take kind that. of. I would too. I'd, I'd be 100 percent fine with that. And then Stu versus oh, I know for seven. That's ooh man, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Bro, well, you have to get Nev back first, and Matthew Lillard sure seems to hate Paramount now as well. So they may have um, really hurt their uh, chances there. I mean, I don't know, man. Well, money I talks think ultimately. Money, money t- it does talk a lot, and you know, like Matthew said at this uh, horror con last week, it's been over a year now since he's had a job, and oh, he hasn't worked in over a year. So the acting, the acting job, so. You know, he is the voice come... of Shaggy in the new video game multiverses, and you can just hear it immediately, and I love it. But, uh, but that's voice acting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. I think he's. Ta- I think he's referencing the yeah. on camera. Yeah, because yeah. he's doing the Scooby Doo for the, you know, the shows, yep. the cartoons and stuff. But yeah, man, I think that also. Plus, if Sydney came back, I think it would be water under the bridge for him too. Oh yeah, I think he he he. Yeah, he, yeah. You know what? If Nev's okay with this, I'm okay with this. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna tease something here, guys. Um, there you go, Katie. Thank you. Yeah, we're up to like almost 60 people now. The number can, continues to go higher. Um, make sure you subscribe to Podcast Now. My guest, mm-hmm. Alex. Please give him some love on his channel. He's a great guy, great friend to me in the channel. And we get together literally once a month. It's just kind of like, you know, it's kind of almost like standing appointments where, yeah. hey, you know, we get together and have coffee. I'm not a coffee <laughs> drinker, but metaphorically speaking, we Same. get together and have coffee once a month. That's kind of what Alex and I do. Yeah. It's just our, it's our thing. Um, so a lot of a, a lot of exciting potential stuff we're going to see here. Uh, I just hope that. My biggest thing, Alex, for me, for six, is that I just want it to be well written and well executed. Yeah. Because if they can do that, and even if I'm not like maybe I'm not on crazy about some plot point or some direction they took with the with the character, those things are okay. I can get you know, I can live with that. I can be like, yeah, but here's what they did great. If my if my checklist of things is higher on the good side yeah. than the bad side, I'll be happy. I'll be very, very yeah. pleased, you know. Um, and I hope that James and Guy gave Radio Silence a script that they can bring to life, like in, in a whole new level. Yeah. You know, it allows them the opportunity to do that. God, I hope so. <laughs> I know. I, I'm excited. I mean, I'm. I'm definitely still more excited now than I was before filming. And although the Nev situation is factually going to be there until the movie is out, um, 
there's still yeah. reasons to be excited. And then it's, it really, it will be up to that trailer. Um, I don't know how many worrisome signs you can pick from. I, I don't know. And I don't really know if I have that mind. Like for me, when I watched five's trailer or even now, when I watch six, like I don't, I, I am like uh, analyzing everything, but I don't know if I could, you, you can necessarily like call something hugely mm-hmm. negative. I think I'm better at that with like games. Maybe that's how my mind is wired, uh, right? Yeah. So, yeah, like the trailer, as long as it's nothing egregious, that's that's so noticeable. Um, yes. It should be fine until the movie comes out. But I swear, if they spoil something major in the trailer, I, you still can't necessarily hold that over the movie because maybe it's well executed. And then the trailer just like they need to fire that company that they hand off the you know that stuff to but yeah why right? they don't do that i think it'll be it should be fine i really hope the trailer's super good and i can imagine it will be yeah i i again i want i like to be optimistic and say they learned from five mm-hmm. and the team is not going to make those mistakes again that made that did put the trailer together um uh memo boy real quick memo boy says I see the super chat I went through here. Would you get it? I have not received it, my boy. I just I just checked my analytics now, and it has not come through. It's possible YouTube shot it down because they sometimes do that with the, mm-hmm. depending on the payment. They 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 sometimes reject it, which is very nice of them to stop <laughs> a community yeah. member from giving to the creator. No doubt. Yeah, I just checked. Uh, I checked my analytics now to see if it's come through and. I uh, haven't received one since Bobby's earlier is on one showing right now. That's really weird. Um, we'll see if it, if it you know, eventually pops up. But I have not seen anything, boy, Evan, boy. But if you have a question, um, go ahead and, and let me know, man. And we'll uh, we'll try to get that taken care of. Uh, let's see here. Um, what was I looking at? Trailers do in general. Dale, in general, trailers seem to show too much in movies these days. Trailers have gotten out oh, of control. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's almost like the people making these trailers are like, you know what? I wish I could be a film director and film creator instead of an editor. So I'm going to make my own movie. I'm going to I'm gonna ruin theirs. Yeah. It, it almost shows almost <laughs> like a lack. It, it's a lack of confidence in something. It's a lack of confidence yeah. in the movie that you think you need to show everything. Or it's a lack of um, confidence in the fans that you don't think they're able to, you know, uh, I don't know if you want to say like they're stupid, like, they're, like that's the mentality. But again, even for like Scream, like the mentality is what? You don't think they'll see the movie if you don't show too much like action. The whole point is a whodunit film. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, there is some sort of, I think, lack of confidence from these trailer people i just don't know what they're not confident in it probably changes depending on the project but it needs to stop it needs i don't know that's that's again why some games do it better than others as well some games show way too much and they almost become memes of how often a game is shown it's like you you don't need to show these things as much as you think you do you just don't Maybe it's, mm. well, you know, it could be confidence in the uh, attention span of people, which I would give them credit for because people's attention span are very low nowadays. Um, that they think True. they won't be able to hold on to, they won't remember Scream is coming out unless you remind them constantly. It could be that. That could be it. <laughs> but again, that's not giving people enough credit. I think people are smarter than that. Yeah, I, I agree. And you don't have to, you don't have to show so much to get yeah. people to go see it. Just make something that makes them aware it's coming. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's it. Uh, it seems so simple to us, Alex. You know? <laughs> it's just... I think if you gave all of us enough time to collaborate and sit down with the footage of Scream 5, we could have done a trailer that did not spoil anything. I think you. I think we could have yes. done it. I Me think too. they could have done it, too. I think they, it was a mm-hmm. choice to give away those things. It was. Um, and that's the issue. Man, Memo Boy says, uh, "I just asked what you like to see Ghost. Uh, would you like to see Ghostface use killing in Scream Six, not only a knife? So, Alex, would you? What would you oh, like man. to see other, other than a knife? Any other weapons or um, things? Well, it'd have to be like something sharp, right? I, like I like blunt objects, but but something sharp. 
Is a machete going too far? Because then you're going into who who uses that? Is that Jason? That's Jason's. That's yeah, the only, so only you, can, you can't steal other killers, you know, weaponry. Yeah, I right. said my cop out answer will be what I told you a while ago. Again, the martial arts side of me, and you don't need to make this like a you know a martial arts movie, but just the idea that you can throw punches and kicks as you're battling Ghostface. Or Ghostface goes for a stab, and then maybe he like punches the character in the face and then knocks them down to stagger them. Like, why can't you? And maybe it's too dangerous. Maybe that like the logistics of it. You know, they'd yeah. rather have Ghostface tripping over tables than well, like Sydney likes to like actually mm-hmm. physically assault Ghostface, kick him downstairs, that <laughs> stuff. So I, I'd like to see more physicality without the knife, which I guess Tara did in the opening, didn't she? So I would say more like that. Yeah, yeah. that was physical. She kicked him you know something to get him away and he was kind of just going for it and stabbed through the hand and all that stuff so things like yeah. that i'd say so weapons being the body i'd say oh okay the body more uh riley says ice skate oh my god Ooh, man oh. that'd be cool yeah well, that'd be very gory but like yes. if you throw somebody off of a high rise in this movie that's a that's a it's not a weapon but it's a new killing technique yeah, it is. Uh, you know, so. Heck, yeah. And, you know, like for me, Subway. So you just yeah, incorporate sure. the Subway for to, as a murder weapon somehow. Do you, think do you think somebody would get thrown in front of a train in this movie? Oh, that's Would so they do brutal. it? I don't know, man. I I would love it, personally. Yeah. I yeah. think I would. I think I'd take it. It depends on the character, I guess. It can't be one of the main if it's one of the main no. characters, like the core four, you have to give them something like a going out party. And it's too yes. fast, the train hitting you. You know, and it's too fast. Mm-hmm. If it was some other character. That's think, true. That's know. a good point. Yeah. Don't the way you build that suspense up is is, you know, one way, I mean, is you 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 hold them down yeah. in their head Ooh, and the train's a ways God. off. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like you build it up, see, yeah. and they're trying to but it's, even then, you know, yeah. But I, I'm I'm just want to say environment. Yeah, Kylie said it best. Yeah. You did, I was about to say this right now. Environmental kills. What? Just use the environment you, at hand. Yep. To to make things happen. That would be the absolute. My for me, beyond the the buck one twenty. Yeah. Knife. Um, I agree. But you got to keep the buck one twenty in there, man. That's that's, oh, yeah, that's gotta signature. Be. And they did try different. Uh, you know, the kills to like Wes and stuff. Like they were doing. Yeah somewhat yeah. different things in five i think uh i think the kills will be fine the, the kills are all fine it was the lead up to the kills that people had problems with with chases and stuff and it seems like that issue has been heard because because if you have rumors that there's like oh maybe there's a chase in the subway maybe there's a chase in the bodega thing right like even yeah. if one of those is true there's still a chase scene in this movie you know what i mean you only need one of them to be true so I think there will yes. be chase scenes again, which is signs that they're listening, which is actually a very good thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Knock on wood. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Everything at your toes you need to do. Um, but uh, guys, listen, I think we're going to call it here. This has been a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed myself, man. I hope you had a good yeah. time, Alex. This was great. Oh, it's always a blast talking to you. And again, the community always uh, embraces, I think, our conversations. So, no, but yes. uh, thank you so much for for what you've done. And uh, like I said, I continue to look to you for the streaming collaborations that you put on your channel because you're they're on another level. Oh, thank you, man. Okay. It's very nice of you to say that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, and we're gonna do this again. You know how it is, man. We're we're gonna we'll yeah. be doing this again very very soon. And I can't wait. We'll, 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 it's always such a good time whether we're doing a live stream here or a collab video on your channel. Yeah, they're, they're they're much fun, and we cover so much in such a quick time. It's like man, where did the time <laughs> go? Here we are, hour and a half already. Um, time flies. Everyone's time flies. Uh, thanks, my boy. We appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for for coming in. You guys are very welcome. Glad you all enjoyed it. So, Alex, I'll meet you backstage in like just a second, just you know, ten seconds. Yeah. Um, for everyone here on the stream, I'll be back. I'll be back on uh, this Friday night. No, 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 this Saturday night. Excuse me. 
Saturday night, usual time, 9.30 Central for my Saturday night stream. And you know, who knows? You may see me pop up before then, but probably not. It'll be, it'll be Saturday. I will have a new video out today, uh, this evening. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to Alex's channel, Podcast Now. Links in the description, in the chat. But be sure and go subscribe to his channel right now. Show him some love and the community. Great stuff. Great guy. Super cool. You're going to love everything he does. And his Scream 6 talk is always fun. And he's all, I mean, a little he, spicy. A little spicy. <laughs> I was about to say he's got a little spice he throws in on top, which I enjoy, always enjoy hearing. And so, um, in the meantime, guys, I will be seeing you soon. And Alex, I'll see you shortly. Sounds all right. Good. Bye, guys.